Okay, so we have a Mabiano mini waffle maker with this really nice design. It kind of reminds me of Pioneer Woman. Yeah, it's from Aldi's. Oh, is it from the new one? Mm-hmm. A new Aldi's just opened up. Uh, Bios. us. Buy us. And um, so we're going to unbox this. And I really love waffles. Better than candy. I just really want to, I really like this thing because it makes nice mini waffles. They look like they'll be about the size of like an Eggo waffle. We have a big waffle maker, but it's hard to use. It's definitely hard to clean. Put those to the side. I like the packaging, especially with this little kit on the front. And mm, easy to clean. It um, makes four inch classic waffles in non stick, so that's good. Might still want to use um, non stick spray just to be safe. Um, well, yeah, so, I just, I don't know why I was looking on the box still when I just got it out. Put that out of here. So, um, nice design on it and that's about the size of an Eggo waffle and let's unravel this and uh, I like the size of this cord because I don't like too long of cords on these types of things because they're hard to roll up and hard to put back in the box we're so. certainly going to be looking at some truffles on there that are low carb so look forward to that. And I like this. Um, our old waffle maker, there's a thing where you turn it, but I guess this one doesn't have that. I guess it just does it for you. So I think you have to be cautious how much of the stuff you put in there. Definitely. Um, I'm definitely gonna use this. I think this will be a nice, a nice waffle maker. And um, we might have a demonstration. So, yeah, we'll get right to that. Okay. Okay, so we got our pancake mix. This we is, got our waffle maker. This is a consistency. We're using Krusty's buttermilk pancakes mix. Just for a little bit. Ours is already heated up. So, we're going to want to use cooking spray first. On both top and bottoms. Shake it up a little bit. We use olive oil cooking spray by Carlini brand. We get it at Aldi's. There we go. So that might have been a little too much, but that's that okay. So just pour this in. I may need to. We'll hope to know when it's too much. That good? Yeah. Um, so I this here. Just close it down. It's our first time, so we might need to try the next time we'll see so we're making two so it should be good we'll actually just make as many as a waffle maker i mean as many as the pancake mix we made a last that's right sorry for my register they're looking dirty we have dogs all right our second egg of waffle is made not Eggo, but it, it kind of looks like an Eggo waffle to me. I like to flip it over and see how crispy it is. Now this one, this one isn't as, it's nice and crispy, but um, this one took like way longer than this one, so I recommend not opening it a lot, because that'll really help it. It's going to get more, in. it's going to get more crispy as it sits. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to. Grab it that way because this stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna pour in our third Eggo waffle. We might have made a little too much stuff. 
Share it, grab it upstairs, so. <laughs> okay, so I think that's enough. And I'm close that up, and we will be back. When All right, we're back, and I just found out that you need to leave it closed. I don't know why, but it keeps it way better. I this is the first time I opened it, and look at how crispy that is. So I think that's a perfect texture. And we have a lot of um, mix left, so cook the fourth bag of waffle. Pour this in. I think adding more of this makes them better because that one's a thick waffle. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Maybe a little. And we'll be back once the fourth waffle is done.